Hey YouTube, Navy98 here. I've got the third of the four Hanyan rifles that I purchased from Century Arms last year. Got this guy cleaned up. I just want to show it to you real quick and show you what, how it cleaned up. And just go over the markings like I've been doing. So this one cleaned up beautifully. The stock uh, is just gorgeous on this guy. Uh, unfortunately, there are a few little marks here where there was some oil in the stock. Um, it just wouldn't come out without just you know, basically stripping this down on nothing and starting over from scratch, which I didn't want to do. The metal uh, on this rifle is very heavily pitted. It's probably the most pitted um, and damage of the three that I've done so far. And we'll talk about probably why that is in a bit. But like I said, the stock is, is really nice here. The metal did clean up nicely except for the pitting. So starting off at the butt here, uh, really have, have a really nice marking here on the buttstock. I'll throw up a quick graphic on what I was able to determine that this means. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it uh, and make a fool of myself. So you can see what that means there. On the other side of the stock, it does have the number 46 as I show uh, in that graphic. It's going to make my way down the rifle here. Um, there were some interesting little sling swivels that, you know, non-standard sling swivels that they just kind of fashioned here that didn't really go with these uh, sling swivel assemblies. Like I said, the, the wood looked really nice. It turned out really well after I cleaned it up. Go ahead and flip it around. Like I said, there is a 46 here on this side of the stock. We'll talk about that in a bit. So really happy with how this one cleaned up. So like I've been doing, I'll put a quick graphic here up on the screen that shows you all, all the markings on this rifle that I was able to find and some of the research I did on uh, on this rifle. Of the three Hanyan rifles that I've done so far, uh, this one has been the most matching as far as components. So again, um, it has a very uh, early uh, serial number, which is Bravo 5146 which date, dates this to the early 1910s again. Um, it does have a matching serial number on the buttstock, the barrel receiver, trigger guard assembly, uh, trigger guard, the trigger guard bolt head, which is very unusual for the Hanyang rifles that I've seen. That's typically something that you would see in a German rifle where they serialize everything. But I had not seen that on a Chinese rifle uh, up until this point. Uh, the follower, the clip latch, the bolt release, and the front barrel band, bayonet lug, all match that 46 uh, serial number. Some of the other markings that are on here, um, the five point star on the firing pin nut, uh, and it's an early type uh, firing pin nut without the, um, the gas block that you've seen in the later style. It's got a reverse swastika and uh, a number on the firing pin and safety and cocking piece. And that reverse swastika is uh, indicative of potentially the uh, 21st arsenal for that bolt. Uh, as with all these, it was missing a cleaning rod. This was also missing a nose cap. And like I mentioned, it had the non-standard sling swivel uh, on the rear. Uh, actually, the front barrel band assembly, I replaced that because it was pretty pitted out and had one of those um, non-standard sling swivels. So as I said, this is probably the most, uh, had the most matching components of any of the rifles I've cleaned up so far from uh, this batch of Hanyangs from Century. The early serial number would indicate, you know, why the metal work is so, so pitted and worn on this rifle, because uh, it's been heavily used and abused over the years, um, eventually tanned over to training um, for this unit. So as with all these, the bore is, you know, about 0 0.330 um, diameter. This will chamber both 
the Spitzer round and the bottlenose uh, cartridge. So no issues there. Um, actually, all of these have really smooth actions. Um, I'm not going to show you the bore because it's pretty much um, very similar to the other ones I have. Uh, it's not a sewer pipe by, by any means. It does have rifling in it, but it, is, it has been used and shot out. So there you go, guys. That's number three of four. I've got one more. Um, that one is covered in cosmoline uh, and pretty dirty. So it's going to take me a while to get all that cleaned up, especially in this cold weather that we're in the middle of right now. But I will get that posted soon. And then, like I said, we'll move on to the next set of, next set of projects uh, in my collection. So I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, it's Navy 98 saying, Go Navy!